Why not stash them real? Come on. And as you can guess, we are in the lovely country of Wells once again. And it's a really glorious day today. And this time we're on uh, South Wells in a lovely little village called Tintern. And it's uh, nestled in the Wye Valley. Just going to make our way over to the information board, which tells us about some of the history of the area. Now, it's, uh, even as a quiet sort of village atmosphere today with little gift shops and restaurants and nice views. But in the past, it was a very industrial area. And I'm going to go by this information board. You might not be able to hear me so clear, so I'm going to move closer to the camera because of the water sound. I should turn it down a bit. It says on this information board, talking about water wheels and mills and rolling pins, skittles and wooden coconut shibles with some of the products made in a mill, one of the mills. There is mines, quarries, there's quite a lot in the area. And this shows a map of the, some of the mills and a place called the Wireworks, Middle Wireworks, Chapel Mill Wireworks. The stuff is brought down in this valley, which is sort of up there behind, and brought down to here, then it was took across this bridge, which we're going to be walking across now, which goes across the River Wye, and then joins the main line. Of course, all that was in the past. All the railway tracks have been taken up now, and there's nothing. There's the bed of the old line there, and it goes through here. <laughs> Steadily going uphill, and already after a bit warm. Just bought this new um, top in Marks and Spencer's the other day. They tend to reduce a lot of the like warm winter stuff around March. So I bought this um, Merino. What's it called? Merino. 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 Who's he? And I've got this new Merino Merino wool top, and it's quite warm actually. Nice though. <laughs> See the river down there. Uh. This is it then, the devil's pulpit. And I've had to take my top off because it's so warm. That's actually melting. That mirror new wall thing was far too warm for this weather. It works well, but it's for winter really, not for summer. Well, spring. Look at that view. Ooh. Now there's a rock there, which obviously some people would like to stand on and be bearing, but I'm not going to do that. The Devil's Pulpit lies at a height of 224 metres above sea level. Legend holds that the Devil would preach from here to the monks and occupants of Tintern Abbey below. Okay, so that was the Devil's Pulpit. Nice little view. And we're now on a flat track heading towards a small village just, just around the river bend from Tintern called Brock Weir. Just going to call home in a minute. Someone's nicked it. What a cheek, isn't it? It's gone. It evaporated. Traffic jams. Okay, we're now going to go back across the river 
I know there's, uh, I forgot what the village is called now. What was the village called again? Brockweir. Oh, I always forget that so quick. That's just a quick look around. You can see the Moravian church over there. I just read on the billboard about Moravian churches. Apparently something to do with the area of Moravia in the Czech Republic. And the people came here in the past and set up the churches, I suppose. Now that's a nice view looking that way, is it? We're now on part of the old train line which used to come from here. Obviously it's all gone now. They've got these little funny little statues. This one's a dog, but look, they're so realistic, they draw a, a dog turd. Metal one. There's metal, isn't it? Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Not metal. So this is the old Tintern station. Long abandoned, of course. I'm not statue and real, come on. This explains what all those wooden statues, including me, was about. Right, one was Geoffrey of Monmouth, Eleanor of Provence, Provence? What did you say? Provence? Provence? Mm. King Tudrig, a Brennan Tudrig, I see you say. King Arthur, a Brennan Arthur, Sabrina or Havrem. Can't see things like that. It's rude. Cover her up immediately. Come on. And then King Offa. Ah, he named himself after Offa's dyke. Or was it the other way around? I think it's the other way around. A Brennan Offa. <laughs> uh, well, there we are then. So that's the history of those pieces of wood. Here we are. Okay, good <laughs> Red wine, Tintern Parva. 